I was um, I was just going to add with respect to the basic foundation of what was asked. Uh, it's really a it's really a psychological issue when it comes to what the movement is. What the movement is is a encompassing entity of a train of thought, and this is really a very advanced way to look at any kind of social organization, more advanced than, say, the people way people look at the Venus Project, because the Venus Project operates, say, as an institution, a self-referencing. It claims that it is an origin of something. What makes the Zeitgeist Movement unique, which is why I use the language I do these days more than ever, is that it really isn't anything but a way to reference a train of thought. And any of us could go out without ever referencing the Zeitgeist Movement and talk about the exact same thing. The only reason that we reference the Zeitgeist Movement beyond the train of thought is to try and get the transition together. <laughs> That's really the only point of the movement, hence the name movement. But let's not confuse the train of thought with the movement or create the identification with the movement on that on that level. I mean, it's a little paradoxical, but I hope that makes sense. Uh, and that's that's the first thing I tell people when like oh the Zeitgeist movement they try to project into it as some entity I'm like listen this is just a train of thought you can call it whatever you like it doesn't matter what you call it because the train of thought doesn't change and that's what's so amazing about what we're doing and where I think again not to criticize the Venus Project but where they're seriously lacking is they're not promoting the train of thought they're promoting the entity and uh, that bothers me more and more that I think about it but anyway that's for another conversation so if you can get that across to people they'll be much more open to not identify with the zeitgeist movement per se or I'm a member of the zeitgeist movement but to just say well you know I appreciate the idea of scientific efficiency I, I see how the political system and the economic system are completely outdated I see how it's an anti-economy I see how the rationale of our entire social infrastructure is absolutely anathema to what true sustainability is. If you can just get those seeds planted, uh, then you're way ahead of the game than just, say, referencing the Zeitgeist Movement or the Venus Project. Uh, it also, it's almost always detrimental when you jump to that level. The, the example I use is when I reference the Venus Project it has nothing to do with um, any kind of animosity. It's unique in that their operation as an institution is equally as detrimental as the Greenpeace's operation as an institution, as UNICEF's operation as an institution, to even the farthest extreme of, say, Scientology's operation as an institution, or the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, because all of this, all the notions frame in a set regimented uh, presentation of knowledge with the assumption that there's some type of claim or there's some type of origination and while that might be directly true or not which it never is obviously but whether you know, whether the united nations as an institution claims ownership of something or just presents new ideas it's still framed within that context and that's the paradox i'm bringing up so i'm not going to go on that that defense i'm just just basically saying that i'm not actually referencing anything respect to the venus project it's more of a it's more of a definition of what institutions are and how we should really try to avoid that stigma by sticking to the train of thought more than anything else.